Today I'm visiting one of the largest malls in North America, if not the world, the West Edmonton Mall, so aptly named, because it sits in West Edmonton. How brilliant is that? Uh, we are going to check out if they have any Pokemon cards. I think there's a bunch of stores that sell Pokemon cards, but we're going to see what type of deals we can get on these Pokemon cards. Being such a big mall, we have no idea how expensive this is going to be. Let's go. Welcome to the West Edmonton Mall, the 14th largest mall in the world and the second largest mall in North America. This is my third time visiting this mall and I have a good idea of where the Pokemon card shops are. So first off, there is a giant ship in this mall. That's right, you heard me, a giant ship. There's something like 10 huge attractions here. So there's a ship, there's a an ice rink, there's a play stadium, there's a water park, which you're seeing right now. There's a movie theater, 800 something stores, 100 dining venues. It's absolutely outrageous capitalism at its finest. So here we're going to our first shop, which is a little oddity shop. I decide to take a quick look and then go right on over to our next shop. The key here though, is that it's 10% off Pokemon cards. So we might come back to it. Game City's the next one that I check out. Game City had a few sealed Pokemon cards, but they had these binders, which none of the other stores had. So they actually had single cards, which was very cool to see. It's something that you get in Japan all the time. It's something that you get in other major cities in West Edmonton Mall, this was the only one with individual cards. Unfortunately, these cards were a bit too high priced. Two or three dollars for a regular common and uncommon. Uh, not my cup of tea. I went to pass the ice skating rink to go to this Icons and Hero store, which is by far the fanciest store that I went into today. They had some of the coolest stuff, but again, very, very expensive. Uh, I decided to go back towards the water area and the ship because I knew that there was a GameStop somewhere around here. So I went and I found the, oh, showcase. Don't go there. Then it's GameStop. I went into GameStop, but GameStop is the same everywhere. So I just took a little video of it, went in. The prices were th the most decent so far, but I decided to go check out another shop. It was like a coin shop, I remember from last time. Coin and stamp. So in this one, they had tons of product. They were absolutely loaded. But the reason they were loaded with product is because all of their products were 20% higher than every other retail store. So it's a weird, balance you have to find between having product and being able to sell product but they're clearly able to operate out of there so it's fine i decided to go back to the first card store no not this one the first one and pick up these two boxes and by card store i mean this shop the layer it was the weirdest little oddity shop it had a lot of cool stuff but the 10 percent was absolutely worth it so I went to a ton of different shops and the one I ended up buying cards from was an oddity shop. It had skeletons, it had palm readings, it had tarot cards and all these different things. And then they also had Pokemon cards. Like hilariously they had Pokemon cards and they were about the same price as GameStop, but they had a promotion for 10% off. So I ended up getting these for cheaper than anywhere else in the mall. We're gonna open these up and uh, see what we can get out of the Shrouded Fa Fable, which is new currently, and hopefully you will still enjoy it. You will, Gio, you will enjoy it. But uh, yeah, hopefully the smalls look pretty cool, but it's very expensive. And with that, I am back home with the two boxes we got from West Edmonton Mall. It is a little bit later in time, but woo, movie magic. We've got the Greninja EX box here, and we have the Kingdra EX box. What we're going to do is we're going to crack both of these open, and we're going to open up the packs. So, I'm uh, back home from my adventures. It was an incredible trip. I learned so much. I saw so many things across the country. I hope everybody has has checked out some of the videos from the tour. I'm still trying to get one of my tour videos edited. Uh, it, well, it is edited, uh, but unfortunately, here, let's put those over there in a pile. Uh, unfortunately, it is just not rendering, so I'm not sure exactly uh, what to do about that. But these boxes come with five packs, so they're a little bit expensive for what you're getting, but they come with these absolutely incredible promos just the best promos we've seen in a while the best cards we've seen in quite a while this kingdra is one of my favorite cards i think i've ever seen so i'm going to double sleeve this kingdra here 
Uh, this is my second Kingdra. I did pick up a box already to do some shorts with that you guys saw a while back. So I do have that one. So that one will be up for trade in my trade binder. Uh, or I might get it graded if it is in good enough condition. But the problem with these boxes is you never know. You never know what's going to happen with these boxes. Uh, because they are packaged like this. They could have damage on them, just like anything, but these ones tend to have a little bit more. So let's take a look at this absolutely incredible promo. That is so gorgeous. That Greninja is phenomenal. So this one is actually going to our friend CJ, because we have a trade that we've worked out between us. Uh, so we're going to send CJ all of these ones he doesn't know I'm sending him the Faroki and the Froggy Deer, but I'm going to send him the whole team. So that's going to be for his. Uh, you know what? I'm going to send him the code card as well, because why not? That's what we do here. All right. So let's do this. I'm going to bring the camera down just a little bit. There we go. Now you can see a little better. And uh, let's hope it's some Shrouded Fable. I've only opened five packs of Shrouded Fable. Yeah, because I opened the... Uh, other Kingdra box for the shorts, because uh, it's my favorite promo. And look at that, horsey right on the front of our Kingdra box. Oh, hollow energies, very nice. We've got a horsey, Qfen, Zubat, Eevee, Quirim, Night Stretcher, Decidueye, Persian, Seedra, and a Tapu Bulu. This set's wild, because there's it's a, it's a mini set, it's a special set, holiday set, whatever you want to call it. And so there's only... 92 cards or something like that so there's 64 in the main and then there's another 30 art rares and whatnot the prices are doing okay on the alt darts the prices are all right uh two months on so we're hoping to hit something in one of these boxes let's go we haven't pulled anything crazy from this set yet joltic persian crobat janine's secret art iron moth night stretcher Ursa Luna. Hey, there we go. Colores's tenacity. Very nice. We'll take a full art trader any day. A new Colores card. I do have some of the older Colores cards, some of the first full arts that they were in. Very cool. Okay, let's put that right there. That's beautiful. Have you had a chance to get this set? Have you had an opportunity to open it or find it? It seemed to come and go so fast. I was also touring when the set came out, and so I saw it very briefly, and ooh, hollow fire energy. And then it was just like, oh, uh, the uh, splendid crown, no, stellar crown is out. And so uh, this set was just a blip for me. So have you, ooh, okay, let's go. Full art and a full art back to back. Lovely, I don't have either of these. Again, I've opened five packs, I don't have anything. So this is great. I always double sleeve my hits for the binder. So anything that is an EXV or better gets uh, double sleeved and then everything else gets a single sleeve. So let's see, can I get another hollow energy back to back to back to back? No, that's a grass energy. Got a Zorua. Houndor, Varum. So I'm actually filming this just before I leave for Japan. So you should see this while I'm in Japan. So I'm. <laughs> so uh, I'm hopefully having a wonderful time going and recording a whole bunch of videos in Japan. If you have any ideas, this is probably your last chance to tell me. Uh, you'll definitely get a shout out if you give an idea that becomes a video. Uh, and that could just be a shorts video. I've got some shorts that I want to film. Uh, that was four packs, right? One, two, three, four. We've got a Colres, a Petrant, and a Zero Six Mechanations in four packs. That was all one box. I did not uh, mix these up. These are all one box. So this should be from that same box. Wow. Okay, cool. Uh, I don't know which box it was. I feel like it was probably the Greninja. Because I oh, look at that. Steel energy. Beautiful. I feel like it was the Greninja box. So great job, Greninja box. Joltik, Sylveon. I want an art rare now. Malamar, P 
Power Glass, Weevil, and a Cresselia. Okay, that was phenomenal for five. Now we have five more. This is the fun part. This is the great part when you get a new box. Oh man, this is great. Uh, again, this set has been out for like two months and I feel like it's still so, so, so new. And this is definitely one that I'll be picking up uh, a couple boxes of because just like every other special set that isn't uh, interested, like people don't seem that into it, two or three years from now, people didn't hold it and now all those cards are going up in price. So I'm thinking of the... <laughs> I'm thinking of, um, not Darkness Ablaze, what's the other Charizard set? The, oh, blanking on it. Anyway, the one that came out two years ago, no, three, four, four years ago, three years, four years ago, that was just like, at the time, it was really meh, um, and it's the one with the rainbow Charizard in it, and the shiny Charizard, and those are reasons to get it, but it was just overprinted, and people were tired of it, and then... Nobody wanted it, and so I just didn't collect any. I think I've got a booster box, or uh, an ETB of it, but that's it. Should have kept more. Toxicroak. Meowth. There's no Charizard in this set, though. Sylveon. Binding Mochi. Colress. Slitherwing. Tapu Bulu. So we've hit everything at the back of the packs. <laughs> that's wild. That's absolutely wild. <laughs> now we just need to hit everything in the reverse slot. So we need the ace specs, we need the art rares, including the alt arts. Come on, alt art right here, Rowlet, Sylveon, Janine's secret art, Decidueye, Janine, nope, and nope. All right, two packs left. Thank you so much for watching this video if you made it this far. I hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit of West Edmonton Mall. A ridiculous, huge, massive, expensive mall. Hit that like button for me if you've made it this far. And please, oh, please subscribe if you've made it and have not uh, subscribed to this channel yet. My name is Blair. I make Pokemon card videos. I'm currently on a trip to Japan filming some stuff and I'm very, very excited to get back, edit those videos and share those with you. If I have time, I will do some editing while I'm there. Hopefully I can put up like a shorts or two, maybe one longer video, but I feel like I'm gonna be very busy and I'd rather have some stuff to work on when I get back. So we'll see what happens. We've got a Rowlet, Horsey, Dusclops, beware, Janine. Okay, come on, come on. One art rare, please, one. Yes, okay, oh, thank goodness. That is a beautiful Cresselia, and behind it, we have a Tapu Bulu. Heck yes, okay, that was phenomenal, actually. I really enjoyed that. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have yourself an absolutely wonderful day. Wow, five... 10 packs, five big hits. That's actually phenomenal. Okay, wow, beautiful. I will definitely have to find some more of the set. Maybe I can pick some up and we can do some shorts with it. So hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. I'll see you in the next video. I will see you later for Alligators.